Today I'm going to be doing how to do well on your ACT if you're not really that smart. These would also help you if you're smart, but if you're smart you probably know what you're doing and don't really need help. Let's just set the record straight, I'm not smart. But I did well, surprisingly, so it's kind of crazy, but I'm going to be telling you how I did it. I posted a video my weekend in my life from when I took the ACT test. I took it on the 8th and 9th. Well, I took it on the 9th. It was a whole weekend affair. If you want to watch that, that's my last video. You can kind of see my reactions and stuff from the weekend. But in that video, basically, I said I'd make an advice video. And I know this isn't an original video. Um, it's, it's actually very unoriginal. I've seen tons of people do these, but the only people that seem to do them are, like, really smart people like Harvard smart. I'm not Harvard smart, I'm like IQ of a garden snail. So I'm gonna give an introduction to me. So I'm Lucy, I'm 18, I'm on a gap year and I'm going to uni next year so that's so exciting. I went to a grammar school which basically means you have to take a test to get in but like it's in year six like you don't have to be smart you just need to know how to do maths and English. I didn't get a good grade. I was in like the bottom of my classes. There's a few people below me but then they dropped out so I literally was like the bottom of the class. I obviously like did a full 180 for this ACT exam so I'm gonna tell you how. It doesn't matter if you're bad at one thing because for me I'm really bad at maths. I'm also really bad at science but we're not even gonna talk about that. I'm just really bad at maths. But I'm actually quite good at English, believe it or not, because like I am not good at English. But like I low key am apparently, so there's four sections, reading, writing, maths and English. No, what am I about? Writing, reading. English, reading, maths and science. Okay, that's the four sections. And then you can do an optional essay. If you're really bad at one thing, the other scores will bring it up. I'm really bad at maths, but my other scores brought it up, except science, because I'm also bad at science, but it kind of brought it up because I'm actually not as bad as science as I am at maths, so you know. So in school, I mostly got like C's. The occasional E, we don't really talk about that. But on the ACT, I'm gonna tell you my scores. So in English, I got a 35. Reading, I got a 34. In science, I got a 25. Maths, I got a 20. I got a 20. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about it. I mean, like, the last two aren't great, but you know, we're not gonna talk about them because I kind of popped off in English. Oh my God, someone's ringing me, he's ringing me. Oh, it's my brother. My brother's li like literally getting arrested right now, so I'm just gonna decline that. Oh my God, ew. I'm editing this right now. It's like midnight, but um, he wasn't getting arrested. He didn't have a ticket on the train, so that's all. Like, I'm being really dramatic for like no reason. It's not a big deal, and I don't want to get freaking sued. Okay, cool. It's out of 36, by the way. I didn't say so. 35 and 34 out of 36 are kind of. Oh my god. Okay, one sec. What? Right. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, just. I can't begin with this right now. All those scores averaged out to 29. I thought this was bad, like 29 didn't sound good to me. My practice scores were like 33, 32. It puts me in like the top 10%, so that's quite good. You need to make sure that you understand both of the tests and what each one is about. I made this mistake, so like you are learning from my mistakes because I made this mistake. I was gonna do the SAT for ages, then two weeks before the ACT, the last one, there was only one left. I saw a thing about the ACT, like, you know, a sign, and I was like, oh my God, this is way better suited to me because I didn't realize that there was less maths and science and more English from reading because in the SAT it's just English and math. If there's four things a maths is only a quarter as opposed to the SAT where it's a half if that makes sense. Also my maths is bad so like that might be off but I have a, a better chance of doing well because there's less maths. I really didn't do my research which is completely stupid because I ended up buying a fat book. I ended up buying this thick book. For what? For what? You did this for what? I'm gonna tell you the things that I used to study. For the ACT, I used ACT Academy, which is from the brand ACT, like the company ACT. So it's ACT by ACT. Sherlock by Sherlock. So you know that you can do well because there's like practice tests, practice questions. I did all the practice questions because I am like a little tryout. You don't really have to do them, but I'm kind of stupid. So I thought it was probably best if I did them and then I have no excuses if I did bad. For the SAT, I used Khan Academy, which is like a non-profit thing. It doesn't just have SAT stuff it actually has like loads of stuff on it like schoolwork and stuff it's actually quite handy for everything but like it's so good i used that for like months and before realizing that i was going to do the act so it was all a waste of time i was put off by the act because like the science and stuff because science like the word is just like oh science i'm not good at science i failed chemistry and physics it's like science it has it has bad vibes you know what am I trying to say? Oh yeah, so it's not actually science is what I'm trying to say. All you need to know is the pH scale. Learn your pH, like your acid and alkalides. The rest of it is just like reading graphs. It's basically geography. It's like interpreting data and reading graphs. It's just kind of general knowledge and you can guess because like all the information is in the paragraphs. I'd say like 5% of it is actual science knowledge. The 95% is like just interpreting data and graphs and stuff like common sense. It's basically English, so it's like the three English section. 
There's like three English sections and one math section. If you're bad at English, then I'm like so sorry. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is a game plan. Go in there with a game plan. I didn't do this, so once again, you're learning from my mistakes. You need to know like the test inside out. You need to know how it's gonna work because I literally didn't. It's not really a UK thing here, it's a test optional. But I didn't have any guidance or know anyone that's done it before. So I just kind of had to do it off my own back. For example, I bought pens and pencils and then the guy actually, he kind of sister snap like got all my stuff out and he was like, you didn't need it. Can you put that back in your locker? And so I put all my stuff back in like my calculator, my ID. And he was like, do you have your ID? I was like, no, I put it back in the locker. And then he literally, he sister snapped. I was like, we ended up doing like maths on white bars, like we couldn't write it all down and it was on the computer. But it was good because I didn't have a wristwatch. I wish to wash my Irish wristwatch. Wasn't that good? Okay, anyway, I just thought I'd share. The computer screen had a timer on, so I didn't need a wristwatch. I'm not sure if it's always like that. I know in other countries it's pen and paper. It might have just been for the coronavirus. If you finished early, you can't move on to the next section. You just have to wait the timer out, so like go over your test or whatever. But I think you should have been able to move on because I finished English so early and then I could have spent more time on maths because that finished early for me. Like I wasn't ready. The next thing I've called it resources. Okay, so I didn't watch any tactics videos or any tricks and tips videos, which is something that I really regret. Type in like how to do well on the ACT. When I was writing this down, I watched some to see if there's anything that I missed. I was like, oh my god, like I, I could have done so much better. So watch those, like because basically the ACT is a scam. Like they're scamming us, they're tricking us. It's not a test on how clever you are. It's a test on how smart you are because there's a difference between like being intelligent and being smart. I am neither i'll try and link some good ones in the description because the ones that i watched after taking my test that i wish i'd watched before i mentioned khan academy and act academy act academy helps me to understand how the test would work except from that it was on a computer and not on paper and also what questions to expect because in the reading there's sort of like a general structure of questions in the maths not so much but you can kind of know which which topics can come up it's all split into topics you really need to check it out it's a really good website i'm not sponsored i'm just a big fan i also timed myself a few times this was not at the beginning i didn't but then towards the end when i was really like trying to up my game just to see if I was way off because I literally don't know and you can just google I think it's like four to five minutes around that for each one and I tried to do as many as possible but like you know there's only so many hours in a day I found that the times were completely off because in my actual exam I had 20 minutes spare in English which is just completely whack because in the practice I had like three minutes spare no one should have 20 minutes spare in anything in maths it finished when I was only halfway done so I was really triggered on those practice tests that I did you get like a super score if I'd have taken the ACT again and I got like 36 then I'll be able to super score if I did better in some things on that than I did on this one then my 29 and my 36 would mix to give me like a 31 or 32 or something in the middle like an average so that's what that is and my super score was 33 I think in maths you should read the question carefully especially the last bit where it actually says what it wants scan through the answers so you know what they're looking for if the answer is in centimeters or if it's in meters if it's in standard form if it's in terms of x and y or if it's just you know normal in like the wordy questions you don't need to remember people's names or the situation just the maths details just like the important things so like numbers same in reading if there's a passage that you need to read you shouldn't read it the first question is normally like describe the tone of the passage as a whole so don't skip that question flag it and move on then answer all the other questions which are only on specific parts of the lines by the time you've answered all of those you won't have had to read it but you'll have a general idea and then you can go back and answer the first question and you won't have had to read the whole paragraph just if you're a slow reader i'm personally not i'm quite quick Ka-chow. if you're slow then you probably should not read the whole thing it's just a little tip from me to you supplements i am talking about wait let me get mine i took these focus tablets they're from the brand Brainzyme. These are the Brainzyme Focus Pro. You take two to three at a time. I think that I ordered, it was like £30 and I got two of these which are like full. I still have some left over actually. I used these when I was revising and when I was actually taking the test just to help me focus. So they're really good. I wish I'd had these in school actually. They would probably have made me a good student but whatever. These like will make you focus on your ACT. Obviously if you focus on TikTok then you'll focus on TikTok. If you focus on your ACT and you want to do it, get these or something similar. Now I'm just going to do some quick fire advice to round up everything that I've said. You need to remember that the SAT or ACT isn't the be all or end all. This is not the bottom line. If you're using this for uni then um, there's lots of things that go into it that you've also got like your entire application, your grades, your essays. If you do bad like it, it really doesn't matter and at the end of the day you can just take it again. It really doesn't matter. I thought that I had done bad because I got a 29 but then actually it was good ish so like you know you need to think relatively and you need to google because i just googled is a 29 on the act good and it was like you're in the top 10 percent so it turns out it is good you just need to not get bummed out about it obviously if you get like a you know like a 10 probably should retake it or something you need to learn that it's all relative it all depends on where you want to go if you're doing this for uni you need to 
obviously research like which universities you want to go to. Google what ACT score do I need to get into. For most unis, like a 29 is good and, that, and that's like enough to get you in. And also like on Google, the average of like the previous years. Obviously, if you're aiming for a really selective university like Yale or something, a 29 probably isn't very good. For most ones, that's above average, so it's fine. Yeah, so research which uni you want to go to. Maybe like add on like two or three to their average score. Use that as a target. So when you practice, your super score should be that or higher. School grades don't matter in relation to this because mine were really, really bad. I still did well on this. Don't let that put you off. That's all. I'm literally not in a position to give anyone advice but I just thought like it's kind of like a miracle that I like did well because I don't do well and then I did really well and got a 35 out of 36 which is actually like insane that's like a Harvard level like catch me at Oxford I really hope that it helped you if you're also stupid like me don't worry don't let it get you down if someone says that you're stupid say I know you are but what am I don't say that ever and remember if you want to see my vlog from the ACT weekend then you can watch that it's the last video on my channel or I'll put it like on the screen and in the description I'm also going to link some videos that I found helpful after doing my ACT that I wish I'd watched before in the description if you want to watch those well, thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video peace out oh also comment if you want to win this book because I don't need it